guys, it's Jess. I know that I'm usually pretty good about babbling on about nonsense, but today I'm going to try and be a bit more serious, and I wanted to talk a bit about surveillance. So, I've recently finished reading Hank Green's novels, and in his work, Green references the idea of the panopticon, which I'm not going to go too much into, but it's an idea by a philosopher named Jeremy Bentham, and it sort of has become a metaphor for surveillance. Um, and in his work, Green references an internalised panopticon, um, which I thought was really interesting. So he's sort of alluding to the idea that we have internalised the sort of societal pressures and it sort of influenced the way that we act and made us act the way that we do. And it got me to thinking, does knowing that we're under surveillance make us better people or act better? Um, reality TV would suggest probably not because the whole premise of reality TV is that the contestants know that they're under surveillance all the time, but doesn't necessarily make them act nice. Um, and that got me thinking, does that illustrate that the more that we're under surveillance, the more jaded we get to being under surveillance? As one of Prinsky's digital natives myself, I don't really remember a time where if you went out to the shops, you weren't being watched and there weren't the you're being watched signs and all of those dangly security cameras and stuff. Um, and it's sort of an, an expectation of mine that when I go out, I'm going to be watched, um, which is a bit creepy, but that's beside the point. Hopefully it's not just me. Hopefully there's other people my age that feel that as well. Um, but does that mean that it's sort of so the idea of surveillance loses its effects because we're always being watched and we sort of get jaded to the idea? Um, don't get me wrong, I think there are places where surveillance can be really good. Um, I FaceTime with my friends to study a lot of the time and I definitely do a lot more work that when they're watching than when they're not. Um, and when my Fitbit tells me to get up off the couch, it makes me get up off the couch. So um, there's definitely places where surveillance can help. But I was just sort of thinking, does, does the... Are we losing the effects of surveillance as we sort of get older and there's more digital natives coming through? And um, yeah... It's not a question that's going to be answered in one YouTube video, um, but I think it's going to be really interesting to watch as we rely on technology more and more and as there's more digital natives growing up, if the effects of surveillance are kind of lost on my generation, I suppose. Um, anyway, that's all for today. Um, I'm going to stop babbling, but thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.